David's father was a man named Jesse. Jesse had eight sons. The first three oldest sons went off to battle, so they would have been on that hillside on the left-hand side of the picture I gave you a moment ago as a part of Israel's army. David was not in the army. He was going back and forth from Saul's house to play music for him when Saul would have his fits of rage, and he would go back and take care of his father's sheep back in Bethlehem. So David is not in the army. Only his three brothers are in the army. Verse 16. For 40 days, the Philistine came forward every morning and evening and took his stand. Now Jesse said to his son, David, take this ephah of roasted grain and these 10 loaves of bread for your brothers and hurry to their camp. Take along these 10 cheeses to the commander of their unit. See how your brothers are and bring back some, some assurance from them. They are with Saul and all the men of Israel in the Valley of Elah fighting against the Philistines. So now David is given an assignment by his father. Your brothers are in the army. They're there in the Valley of Elah. They're getting ready to fight the Philistines. I want you to take them some food, take them some bread, take them some resources, some physical food resources, find out how they're doing, take some cheese with you, and I want you to sort of refresh them and come back and give me news of what's going on with them. So his father gave him this assignment. Verse 20. Early in the morning, David left the flock in the care of a shepherd, loaded up and set out as Jesse had directed. He reached the camp as the army was going out to its battle positions, shouting the war cry. What I want you to see here in this part of the story is that as David is now going into a battlefield, going with bread and supplies and trying to find out something about what's happening with his brothers, he's actually stepping in, unbeknownst to him, he's stepping in to an opportunity. He's stepping into something that's going to to define his future. He doesn't realize it at the moment. He's simply doing what his dad has asked him to do, but he's actually stepping into a God-given opportunity. What I want you to know today is that in your life, God will give you amazing opportunities. Not every opportunity that comes your way is of God, but God does give you opportunities in your life, and your opportunities given by God are valuable, significant for you. What you do with them makes a really big difference in your life. It mattered for David and it matters for you.